Hey everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Just want to make a quick video lesson going over essentially just how I use VWAP and view it. So, thought about this video lesson just real quick as I finish a trade here with RDBX. Um, I had a 291 average, 1000 shares, and dumped it at 341 for pretty quick 500 bucks. That was pretty neat. This is still on watch for a breakout over the mid threes here. Just straight out of the watch list right here. Figure we could play it as an after hours three break to test the mid threes where there's resistance. And now if that keeps holding up and fails to break down, that resistance could become support and we could break through it. But what I wanted to go over here was what set this to be on my radar. So yes, we have the failure to break down. It held up. It came back here to open price, which was 283. That's you know a key level as well. But what really set it to be on my radar was it came back and really held VWAP. And how I view VWAP really is kind of just an indicator of strength. It is the volume weighted average price. So it calculates throughout the day, intraday, the average price based off of um the price and volume obviously based right in the name but you get an idea of where the average price is throughout the day and typically I like to be in trades that are above the average it shows strength shows that there's buyers behind it and it's not really selling off um, and you know there's other angles to approach it like there's when when there people have big size that they want to put in big orders um, say a hedge fund maybe or something, they might be trying to get in below the um, average, try to get a better entry below it. So, and that might prop it up to hold up and come back to break the VWAP level. But, you know, people view it differently. And I used to completely ignore it a few years ago. I didn't really think it was that important of an indicator. And then I really thought about it one day and I noticed how many people look at VWAP and I figured, well, if other people are looking at it, it must be not important to to um, use myself, but important in a way that I could judge how other people are looking at it. If I see other people are lined up in it, they're thinking that there's strength behind it because it is above VWAP, I'm going to start thinking that too because there's a lot of eyes on it because of that um, and vice versa for the short side probably. I don't use it for shorts. I don't short but you know I have the morning open price of VWAP play so I do go off of it just to really base to gauge the strength of the of the play another example is CYN this morning and as it kept holding VWAP here in the morning that's what really got me interested in an entry people look at it as potential entry points I just want to see it hold just see it hold the trend I was playing this until it really broke the 220s, which made me think it would just come right below VWAP, which was right below it. Um, this one was a scratch trade here, pretty much. Not really. I took it from 216 to 235 and a half, or no, 234 and a half. Um, quick little snipe on a thousand shares. Gave some up as I went in again on it and ended up being a small little loss. But it's okay as it was totally made up for on RDBX. But once again here, you're seeing the strength behind the move until it faces resistance in the mid twos. As we can see here, it's got some resistance here. Got stuff in the mid twos and it started weakening. And once it started weakening, it cracked key levels and VWAP started holding his resistance here a couple times. So a little bit of a longer video lesson need, than needed to really just say it's a gauge. I use it as a gauge for strength. I prefer buying above the VWAP price. So yeah, that's essentially it. I'll obviously make more video lessons in the future going over this, but just a quick overview of how I look at the VWAP that's how I look at it, just a gauge of strength. Hope this was useful. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and definitely check us out on Twitter as I post the watch list there.
would have been a nice trade for anyone who took RDBX. Viru wasn't a bad play either. Um, ATER, I think that's a scratch. Sorry, this thing's getting kind of all over the place now. But yeah, so solid video, um, solid watch list. Check us out on Twitter and tradecaster.com for low cost live streams. Hope everyone has a great day.